Brian Parfmore. I figured I'd cover another killer that's out of Ohio. Um, William Sapp is born William Kessler Lilly, March 22nd, 1963, 62. He is a serial killer, rapist. He committed murder of three females, which was one was a woman to his female children, and he attempted to murder another woman. Um, in S Springfield, Ohio. So let's go ahead and take a look at this sick fuck. William was born in Springfield, Ohio. He had one younger brother. William had hostility towards all women, even when he was young. Every woman that he came in contact with, he had, you know, hostility towards them. When he was nine years old, his parents divorced, and he and his brother went to live with his father and stepmother, whom they later claimed physically and mentally abusive to them. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the first crime here. The first crime on March 20th, 1980, when he was arrested on charges of animal cruelty. The next year, he moved to Jacksonville, Florida, where he is legally adopted by a man named Al Sapp which changed Lily to Sap as his last name. In 1988, Sap married a woman. Let's see here. Her her name was Karen. And together they moved to Ohio settling in Sap's hometown of Springfield, Ohio, and having three children born in, well, one was 1988, one was 1994, and one was 1995. In 1991, Sapp set fire to a log cabin close in proximity to his father's home. On August 23rd, 1992, the bodies of 12-year-old Fee Morrow and and her best friend Martha Leach. Let's look at another picture. Near a pond behind Penn Street and they were determined to have been killed their previous day when the two were returning home from the bakery. Let's get more into this story. It's actually kind of sickening. <clears throat> the girls went to Shores Bakery together at about the the two friends of Sapp and David, I want to say it's Mark Quinsky and David's stepson, John Bowser, were seen near the bakery. Martha entered the bakery with an undefined man. She purchased some cookies and donuts. The undefined man paid for her order and the two of them left the bakery. Ralph the priest, David's nephew, witnessed the murder of Fee and Martha when he was only 14 years old. Now this is crazy, guys. This is freaking crazy. The priest was at the, well, David's house, the 
McQuaskey or whatever their name is, Mark Westy residence with Wanda, who was David's wife and Bowser's mother. Bowser entered the house and said, Mom, I'm in some trouble. The priest and Wanda went outside, got in the van with David and Christopher, well, Christopher Bibbs. They drove to an area near the pond, which laid right behind Shewer's Bakery. When they arrived, the priest described the girls as being all messed up. The priest watched as Sap, David, Jamie Turner, and Bowser rubbed the girls' private parts. The priest pers the priest participated after they had this for a while Wanda told them to kill the girls which is messed up <sighs> Bowser and David hit the girls with rocks the priest saw sap well pick up a large rock lift it over his head the priest said as he turned his head away before Sap brought the rock to the ground well the rock down Sap threatened to kill the priest if he ever told anybody what he had seen Sap Bowser David and Turner Man. Then moved the bodies a short distance from the pond to a nearby hill. Well, I know where the hill is and everything. It's Penn Street Hill and everything. They covered the bodies with branches, skids, and leaves. But next day, feed. Well, the next day. Fee had a rock on her head in the part of a large storm drain sewer. Locally, locally known as the Lion's Cage. Sorry about that, dry throat. Police found a bicycle, brick, and pairs of shorts, which later on was identified by, um, Fee's mother, but it was her short she was wearing the day of the murder and everything. Well, this is after they found the body. They were finding all this other stuff. They found a, I know they found a bicycle. But the shorts, you know, were like tore with something sharp and stuff on the sides, you know, like where they're like greased together, like stitched. So... Like they, the bicycle was found there. The possession of the two girls outside Shores Bakery, their bodies were found the next day after the murder. Like I said, yeah. The shorts were examined by Tiffany Shepard, a police forensic criminalist. They had not been torn, but they were disassembled them by cutting the seams with a sharp instrument which sap i think later on confessed is like a surgical knife that he took from his mom or his mother gave him and stuff autopsy revealed both fee and marfa had died of blunt head trauma He had been struck in the head at least six times, Marfa three times. The skulls were both, well, the skulls of both girls have been fractured by blows having an impact equivalent 
this this is sick guys to that of a free fall from a second story window that is fucked up you know this this guy's sick as hell and it's and it says right here like right here what I'm reading portion of it said like a free fall from a second story window onto a concrete surface which wow you know this is totally messed up both girls also had bruises on their legs and torsos sperm was found on swabs taken from each David, Wanda, John Bayer, Jamie Turner, Christopher Bibbs were all convicted of the crimes from the murder of Fee and Marfa. However, Sap didn't come to light until 1996. And everything. In September of the of that year sheriff detectives from Jacksonville Florida came to Springfield Ohio to question Sapp about an unrelated matter Sapp made an incriminating omission about an assault on Hazel Pearson whose pants had been cut off in the same matter as fee shorts Sap confessed to murders. Sap confessed to rape also. He made Fee roll over on top onto her and force Martha to lie on top of her when Sap yeah, raped both girls. Fuck. This is fucked up and it's sad. So, right there, you know, we'll be talking about Hazel Pearson later on. But first, let's talk about the third murder. Okay. <clears throat> on September 8th, 1993, Belinda. Oh, man. Belinda Anderson of Bell Fountain, Ohio. Let's share a picture of her. She was staying at her sister's house. Well, with her sister, Deborah in Springfield, Ohio. At 5.20 p.m., Deborah left the house to visit her parents and returned at 6. When she returned, she found Belinda had gone out, leaving a note. Deborah never saw her sister again. Nearly two years later, <clears throat> July 8th, 1995, Belinda Anderson's body was found buried on a dirt floor, under a dirt floor, in a garage. In 1993, the house was vacant for several years. Anderson's body had been placed in a plastic bag and buried in a shallow grave. With the feet sticking out, she was wearing a shirt Shoes, socks, but no pants. An autopsy showed Anderson had died of multiple trauma to her head and neck. She had three chop wounds and a bruise on her face and some of her facial bones were fractured. A blow to the back of Anderson's head had 
lacerated her scalp. Man. And and braided the outer layer of the skull. Each injury had been inflicted before death. It was not possible to test for the presence of sperm or semen. Sap confessed to police. Sap said he had met Belinda Anderson for the day, for the first time, on the day he killed her. According to Sap, Anderson agreed to have sex with him for $40 and led him to the garage, which they entered for a hole. Sap claimed that he paid her in advance and that she began to perform sexual acts on him but she stopped saying that she had changed her mind and wasn't doing the rest I guess Sap determined a refund Anderson started to leave he reached down and grabbed her and she hit him Sap grabbed Anderson by the throat. She resisted. He threw her against the wall. He picked up a length of pipe and hit Anderson in the head. She dropped. She started to get up, threatening to call the police. He picked up a piece of metal and hit Anderson several times because she wouldn't shut up, Sap described to police. He remarked, how many times you gotta hit a person before they stop? Wow. Wow, guys, this, this is crazy. <clears throat> Sap tried to... Okay, now let's go to this the last woman here where Sap tried to kill another woman. Let's start t talking about Hazel Paris and I couldn't find a photo of her and everything so here's what happened to her. We'll tell you what happened to her. Okay. Springfield, Ohio. There's a like a there's a company a packing company in Springfield, Ohio, Saul Peterson, sitting in a nearby parking lot. When they realized that she was hurt, they went to her aid. She was nude, waist down. They asked her if she was raped. She nodded her head, yes. She had numerous cuts on her body opened and she screamed in pain. Pearson's throat had been cut ear to ear. She had a deep stab wound in her stomach. Um, they said the base of her nose was an open wound, jaw fractured at the base of the eye, lacerated and stuff, bruised, lacerated scalp, brain injuries, fractured skull, belly bruised face, and body. When Pearson woke up in the hospital, she noticed that her watch was missing. I didn't get too much more on uh, like if he stole her watch or anything like that. I didn't get into any of that. I don't know what exactly happened because it's kind of stopped right there. And then it says, you know, you know, Sap made the confession to the police. Sap admitted that 
he had raped Parson and tried to kill her. Parsons, Parson complained to Sap that her boyfriend was in a bar with another woman. Pearson had walked out of the bar after some words and a little push contest. Sap and Pearson walked together until they reached some railroad tracks. Sap said they kissed and messed around a bit, but Parson said, why is it that all men got to hear that stubble shit, just like Butch and she slapped Sap? Well, Sap assaulted Pearson he beat her with, wow, a piece of steel cable. Kicked her repeatedly and stabbed her in the stomach. At the point, Sap removed Parsons' pants and had intercourse with her without ejaculation. Without yeah, ejaculating. Cut the pants. I guess this must like a trademark, just like the others off Pearson, you know, with the knife, surgical knife down the sides. Man. So that, that's kind of crazy. Pearson stopped and Sap hit her under a nearby dock and ran away okay he was tried together three counts of aggressive murder um he got charged with rape um kidnapping attempt of aggressive murder 27 counts against him he got charged for but guess what guys this sick fuck got what he deserved he got the death penalty there ain't no life in prison he gets the death penalty but guys this is actually was a sad one to talk about and everything but I figured, you know, I'll do this one because I noticed nobody else really did it. But remember to follow me here on YouTube and hit that like button and everything. If you actually like this, hit the like button, the thumbs up. So I know that you guys like it. And I've tried to do more here. But remember, guys, keep exploring. Stay safe out there, and peace.